Hello, brothers and sisters of the Briar. Professor Jeremiah here. Happy Thanksgiving. And that's Scout's head. <laughs> Come here, Scout. I still had a, a treat in my hand for. Come on. Okay. 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 You want everybody to see you? Okay. <laughs> she's she's camera shy, I guess. Well, I hope everybody's enjoying a, a nice Thanksgiving day. I wanted to share a pipe with you today. Not the one which I'm smoking, though. Now, some of you may remember this pipe. It was in my video number 56. And this is my Osage orange pipe. Or some people know the wood as Bodoc. Other people know it as a hedge apple. Uh, they oftentimes, uh, a lot of people would use them uh, along their fence line. And this one was actually made out of a fence post that was used on a fence line. And it was aged pretty good. And I, I don't remember now, I want to say it was over 40 years. So it might have been 46 years or so of, of age to it. Well, this is, uh, I've, I've made three Bodoc. Uh, pipe so far Excellent wood and an incredible smoker. I, I would say that uh, if we had to ever come up with an alternative For briar this wood definitely could be it. The only difference would be it is a hard hard wood to work with You instantly can can feel your your bits getting dull I got I got to turn this so you can see that the dog's still standing here waiting. What can I do for you? Can I do something for you? You want another treat? Is that it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, it's very hard wood, hard to work with. Uh, definitely dulls your bits as you're working with it. But again, that's really what we're wanting in the pipe smoking community is a wood that's hard well I tend to smoke in these pipes I, I, I tend to, to smoke a English blend because somehow the wood adds a little bit of sweetness to your smoke and I wondered if that would go away for a while but I've been smoking this now for a few months and it's still there it actually tends to pop out a little bit more So I haven't seen a picture of a pipe similar to the one that I'm about to show you. And being a woodworker, I felt like I had to kind of break out and, and try to make one myself. So here is my new Osage Orange pipe. I've already loaded it up and I'll have its maiden smoke right here on the Professor Jeremiah channel. And I don't know how well you can tell it's a Cumberland stem to it. And I, wanted to use it's actually the same stem as this one but i wanted to use the cumberland in particular so i could get kind of the the leaf uh stem look to it i didn't bend it too much just a little bit of a bend to get that in there and i don't know how well you can tell on this it does have a slight green tint to it through here and the bowl sunk down just a little bit. And it's the same way on the bottom. Uh, you can see a little bit of a crevice there. It's got an incredible air draw to it. I haven't smoked it yet. So this is the maiden voyage. So we'll see how it does. <laughs> There's not really much of a clincher, but <laughs> I kind of think if uh, Legolas in Lord of the Rings had had a pipe, his would have looked like this.
Very nice draw. Now I did, you can see it, it, it's all carved out, so you've got the ridges in there. And it took quite a bit to get this. Uh, and sanding it, uh, I was using a uh, little Dremel tool uh, drum, and each vein took a whole drum because it just it's such a hard wood to work with. <laughs> it looks funny to me on the video, so I can't imagine what it... <laughs> But uh, I just kind of wanted to try an artisan pipe. And other than this shape, it's really my first real unique shaped pipe. Well, brothers and sisters, just wanted to share this new pipe with you. Wish everybody happy Thanksgiving. And God bless. Scout, you want another treat? Okay.